All right, so we're going to start from the very beginning. We're going to start, start uh, when the guitar starts, actually starts. So we're going to do the following. We're going to do that. So we're going to do a slide. We're going to go to the E string. We're going to do a slide to the fifth position of the E string. And we're going to go four and then three. Then we're going to go to five of the E of the A string. And we're going to do a slide to the sixth position of the A string. Then we're going to go five of the A, three of the A. And then we're going to do... We're going to do that. So we're going to go to the D string, second fret of the D string. Slide to the number three, then second, second fret of the D, first fret of the D. Open D string. And to finish, we're going to do a slide to the uh, sixth position. So let me show you how everything is put together. Now we're going to go to the D string. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the first solo. And with the first solo, we're going to start doing the following. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna go to the D string and we're gonna slide to the eighth position of the D string. And then we're gonna go to ten of the G string and we're gonna do a bend, a release, and a pull off to the number eight. Then we're gonna go to eleven of the uh, B string, eight of the B string, and we're gonna go back to eleven of the B string and we're gonna do a bend like going to the thirteen. Next movement. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna go 11, since we are on the 11 after we do the band. We're gonna go 11, slide to 13. And we're gonna go 15, 16 of the B string, back to 13. And we're gonna go again, 15, 16. And we're gonna do a prevent on the 16. And we're gonna strike that note. We're gonna do the band without uh, playing with his hand. Just do the band. You need to prepare. That's why it's a prevent. And then, and then you strike it. Let me show you again this first section, and we move to the next one. Next movement. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the B string, 18 fret of the B string. We're gonna strike 18 of the B, then 15 of the E, 16 of the E, 18 of the E. And after you do that, we're gonna go 18 again, and we're gonna do a band and a little vibrato when you are doing the band. Now, when you are doing the band, after you, you while you're doing the band, the next movement would be to do the release, okay? Do the release 18 back to the 18 position and then strike 16 of the E string. Next movement. We're gonna do that. So after you go to, we are on the 16 of the E string, we go 15 of the E, 16 back to 16 of the E string and then we go back to the E string we strike 15 we do a hammer on to the 16 and a pull off back to 15 then we go 18 of the B string and 15 of the B string let's go again next movement we do that. It's 18 of the B string after we do 18 and 15 of the E. We go back to 18 of the B, then 16 of the B, 15 of the B string. We go back to 16 and then go back to 15 and we do the same thing we did before. 15, hammer on to 16, pull off back to 15. And then we go 17 of the G string, 15 of the B string, and then we end the section with 17 of the G string and we strike twice on the 15 of the G string. Let me show you. All 
right, so the next movement. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna go. We're gonna do a run. We're gonna go 15 of the G string. We're gonna start there. 15, then 17 of the G string. Then we're gonna go to the B string, and we're gonna go 15, 16, 18, and then we're gonna go to the E string, and we're gonna strike 15, 16, and 18. Then we're gonna start all over again. We're gonna do the exact, the exact same thing. The only uh, thing different, the only change uh, is the ending. We're gonna go 15 again, 17, then on the B string, 15, 16, 18, and then on the E string, 15, 16, and this time on the 18, we're gonna, we're gonna end with a band. 18, and we do a band. Let's go again. Second time. Next movement. We do that, we go 15 of the B string, 16 of the B, and then we're gonna go to 13 of the B string. We repeat the same movement, 16, I'm sorry, 15, 16, 13, and to move forward, we go again to 15, 16 of the B string, and we do a prevent on the 16, and we do a vibrato, okay? Now to finish the section. We're gonna do that. So we go to uh, the G string and we do 10, 12, 13. And then we go to E string and we strike 13 on the E and 13 on the G. Now to finish, we go to the 14 of the B string and we strike the, th the 14 three times. Now to finish, we're gonna do that. We slide to the 14th position, okay? We slide to, I'm sorry, we slide to the sixth position of the E of the G string. And to finish, we do that. We strike on the seven of the G string, we do a pull off to the sixth, and then from six we do a slide to the four position. And to finish, we strike seven of the uh, of the uh, of the D string. Let me show you again. Okay, so we're gonna start with the next section. With the next section, we're gonna start doing an A sharp chord, a, a power chord. We're gonna strike once, we're gonna strike twice, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna start doing that. So we're gonna do a slide to the sixth position of the A string. And then we're gonna go three of the D, of the uh, E string, the six, and then four and six. Okay, three, four, six. And then we go to three of the A string, five and six of the A string. After we do that, we strike six of the uh, of the A string again, and we're gonna go to the E string, and we're gonna do three, four, six and then go back to the A string and do three, and then six again on the E string, and when you do six, you do a vibrato, okay? Let's go again. We're gonna start the same manner. We're gonna do six again, three, four, six of the uh, E string, and then three, five, six of the, uh, of the A string. That part is the same. And now what we're gonna do? We do that. We go after we go uh, to the six of the A string. We slide and we go to the eight of the A, the eight of the A string, and do five of E, six of E, eight of the E string, and then we go to A string and we do five, and we finish on the eight of the E string. Let, let me show you again. Let's go again, the whole section. Next section. We 
do that. So we go to A sharp, the same chord, the same power chord we did before. We strike just once, and then we go to a new power chord. We're gonna go to a D, uh, a D chord, okay? D sharp, D, uh, power, that power chord, okay? And then we go back again to A sharp. Let's, uh, let's go again. We strike twice on the uh, D sharp, and then we go back to A sharp. Now the next movement, we do that. We go to, we go, yeah, do we go to the eighth um, position of the D string? We strike just once, and then go back to six, and then we need to go to eight again and do a pull off to the sixth position. I was kind of confused because the, I'm, I'm watching the tap right now and. It's 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 not right, but anyways, after we do the uh, pull off from eight to six, we go to eight of the A string, four of the A string, and we go to six of the G string, and we strike it and we do a vibrator. Let's go again. Now after we go to six, we quickly we need to go to the A uh, A sharp again. And then we're gonna go again to D sharp. We're gonna strike again twice. And now we're gonna change. We're not gonna go back to A sharp. We're gonna go to a G sharp chord, okay? The next movement, we do that. We go to four of the E string, three of the E string, and then one of the E string. Now we're gonna go to an A sharp um, chord, not here. We need to go here, one, three, and three. We just strike once, and the next movement would be, we do that. We're gonna slide to the fifth position of the D string, and then a pull off to the back to the three, to the three, okay? To the third position of the D string. Just slide, pull off to three, and then we're gonna go to five of the A string, and do a slide, back to the third position. After we do that, we're gonna do an F power chord, first, three, and three. Then we're gonna go to an A sharp, and the next movement, we do that. We slide on the A string, we slide to the fifth position, and then we go to the D string, to the third, we strike three, do hammer on to the fifth position, pull off back to three, and you strike fifth of the A string, and then we need to go to F power chord again, then A sharp power chord, and then back to F, and then A sharp. Let me show you again how everything is put together, and then we move forward to the next section. So the next part is pretty much the same thing we did with the first one. Uh, we need to repeat the, 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 same, uh, the same patterns. And so that part is the same thing. Then we need to go again. The same thing. And until that part, it's the exact same patterns. We need to repeat that section. Five, six, eight, uh, like we did before. And then what we need to do, we need to go to the A string. We do that, we strike five of the A string, seven of the A string, and eight of the A string. And then we need to go to nine, 11, and 13. Everything is gonna be on the A string. So let me show you, and then we move forward. Next movement. That's what we're gonna do. After nine, 11, and 13, we need to go to 11 of the A string, 13 of the A, and then 10 of the D string. And next movement, 13 of the A string, then 10, and we need to go now to 11 on the D string. Let me show you again. Next movement. We need to do that. We need to go to the E string, strike 11 and 12, 
Then we go to the A string and we go 9, 11, 12. Then we go to the D string and we strike 9, 11, back to 9, 11. And we finish on the G string striking 8 and 9. Let me show you. One more time. Let's go again. Next movement. We do that. So we go to the E string again and we strike 4, 6 of the E string. And then we go to 3 of the A string, 4 and 6. And then we're going to go to the D string and we're going to strike 3, 4, back to 3, 4, then 6. And we finish on the 3 of the G string. Let me show you. One more time. Next movement. We do that. So we need to go to 8 of the D string, we strike just once, and then we need to go to G string, and we go 5, 7, and then 5, 7, 8, and then we go 6 of the B string, back to 8 of the G string, and then back to 6 of the B string, 8 and 9, and then we're going to finish with the A, sh a sharp we did before. Let's go again. One more time. Sorry. Okay, so the next part is that uh, there is a harmony. There's going to be four different guitars doing something different. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with each guitar, okay? Now we're going to go with the first guitar, the guitar number one. Now you're going to have the uh, cover, the demonstration of the song right here. There, there's a link maybe on the, on the part below. Um, you can you can see right there on the on the on the demonstration on the cover what I am I doing what the, the four different guitars are doing. So we're gonna go with the first one, and with the first one we're gonna do the following. We're gonna do that with the first guitar for the with the uh, first guitar. We're gonna do a bar. On the uh, with the, on the eight uh, position bar on the eight, and we're gonna go eight of the D string, eight of the G, and eight of the B. As soon as we do that, we go to eleven of the B string, we strike it, and we let it ring. Then there is a second guitar. We're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna wait, and then we're gonna go. We do that. We're gonna go to ten of the uh, D string, eight of the G. 8 of the B and then we go back again to, to the 11 on the B string but this time we're gonna strike and we do a band like going to 13 the next movement we do that so we go to 7 of the G string and now everything is gonna be on the G string okay we go to 7 of the G 8 back to 7 then 10 8 and then we can go to 10 and the next movement we're gonna go to 12 everything on the G string we're gonna strike 12 hammer on to 13 pull off back to 12 and then we're gonna go to 14 of the G string strike hammer on to 15 and pull off back to 14 and as soon as we do the pull off we slide to the 7 position of the G string let's go again the other one Okay, so now the second guitar is, is going to start after the first lick of the first one, and we're going to do the following. We start doing that. So we're going to go to A, the A string, 13 of the A string, and we're going to do 13 of the A, 12 of the D, 10 of the G, and 11 of the B string. Then we're going to go to the G string and we're going to strike 12 twice. Then we're going to strike 12 again, 12, and then 13 of the G string, 
back to 12 of the, 12 of the G. And then we're going to do a slide to the seventh position of the G string. And then we're going to go to 10, 8. And to finish, we do that. We go to 11 of the G string, hammer on to 12, pull off back to 11, and we finish on the 12th of the D string. Let's go again. Okay, so now the next guitar is going to start when the uh, first two are finishing. This is the guitar number three. And we'll do the following. We're going to do that. We're going to do a slide to the 15 on the everything it's going to be on the E string, on the lower E string. We're going to go to 15, the higher E string, the um, 15 of the E string slide, then 14 of the E string, and then 15, 17, and then strike 17 again, and we're going to do a bend like going to 18. Next movement, we slide to the 8 position of the E string, and then we strike again on the 8, we do a slide to the 10, and a slide back to 6. We do the same thing again, 8 on the E, slide to 10, and then slide back to 6. And that's pretty much about it with the guitar number 3. Alright, so now let's go with the guitar number four. Uh, the guitar number four, it's really, really simple. We're just going to strike four different notes, uh, two actually. So it's, we're just going to join the other guitars. We're going to slide to 15 and we're going to wait. Okay, there's a silence right there. And then we're going to go to 16 and we can strike three times. And then we go back to 15. And that's it. And they just let it ring. Let's, let me show you. And that's it. Okay, so now the only thing left is the uh, the end, the, the final part of the song. And we'll do the following. We do that, we go to 11 of the B string, we strike one time, we do a slide to the 9th position of the B string, then we strike 9 again, we do a slide to 8, and then we're gonna go again to 8, and we're going to do a slide to the fifth position, okay? Next movement. We do that, we go to five of the G string, we do a, a pull off, okay? Pull off from five to three, and as soon as you do the pull off, you do a slide to the second position. As soon as you do that, we go to three of the B string, strike one time, and slide to the 6th position of the B string. And that's the end of the song.